Okay, today we're going to talk about how to actually use those overlays that I, um, I create and how to resize them. So the first thing I'm going to do is open one of the overlays. Um, I'm using Photoshop CS3 because that's what I have. Um, I don't actually have elements, otherwise I would show you how to do it in elements as well. But um, if you have questions on how to make it work for your software, just let me know and I will do my very best to help you out. Alright, so I'm going to take a picture. Here's a picture of my beautiful husband on his birthday. So here's my photo. And then I'm going to open up one of those digital elements. So there they are. So let's pick one of the, let's see, how about um, I Love You Madly, which is a recent one I have. So I'll open the overlay. There is the overlay. Um, so when you open it up, it should be like this. In this case, they are actually are the same size. This is meant to be for a 4x6 photo, and this is a 4x6 photo. So I want to first show you how to actually just basically use them. So what you do is, there's your overlay, and there's your photo. You can go between them by clicking on the title. Um, I'm on a Mac, so it might be a slight bit different on a PC look, looks-wise, but it's the same idea. And the first thing you want to do is have your overlay layer selected. You want to have your layers on and the way you do that is you go to the window and you pick layers it's going to go away now and then if you hit it again there it is layers now you see this is called layer zero if you want we can rename it by double clicking on it and we'll call it overlay all right and then what you do is you go to this move tool which is this tool right here you click on it and then you come back to your overlay and you'll see your mouse shape has actually changed to a little arrow with a I don't know whatever you call that it's like a crosshairs on it um, so then you click on anywhere in here, anywhere on the overlay, and then you basically hold your mouse down and you drag it all the way into the other image. You'll see a little bit of a ghost appear, and that shows that it's moving. And then any, if you let go anywhere in the image, it'll take a few seconds, but there it is. So now when you look at your layers, you'll see there's a background layer, which is where my husband's photo is, and then there's an overlay layer, which is where the overlay is. If for whatever reason I wanted to actually change the size of this overlay, Here's what I do. So I make sure of my layers, the layer that is the overlay is selected, because that's what I want to change the size of. And then I go to my edit menu and I hit free transform. And if you'll see here, it's actually command T or control T if you're on a PC. So I hit free transform and that will actually put these little um, markers around the corner of my overlay so that you know that any one of these corners I can actually go there and do whatever I want to do. So if I want to resize this, I go to any one of the corners and I hold my shift down. If you hold your shift key down while you're doing this, it'll make sure to maintain the proportions correctly so that none of the words get distorted. And I'll show you. So here's me holding my shift down and I can resize it to whichever size I want. Let's say I want to make it this big. And then I let go and I hit return. And then it'll take a couple of seconds. But then when it's finished, you'll see that the resizing will be very clean and the words won't be distorted. Oops, sorry, my computer is still thinking about it. See, if you look at the I Love You Madly, it's still very beautiful and clean, and now it's a smaller frame, so in this case it looks a little bit funny because my photo is bigger. It would be distorted if you didn't hold the shift key down, so here's me in free transform again. I did it with using the command T, like I showed you earlier. And then I'm just pulling in one corner without holding the shift key. And let's say I pull it down and open and sideways, but I'm not keeping the proportions properly and then I hit return again and in this case you'll see that not always does it render properly in this case it didn't do a very bad job but sometimes it doesn't actually resize the right way in which case you end up getting the words funny like you know A might be stretched or the U might be stretched so ideally you always want to hold your shift key down the only problem with doing it that way is you're stuck within the proportion so this is a 4x6 photo so you can resize it well for a 2x3 photo or an 8 by 12 photo, so it needs to be sort of the same proportions, otherwise you're going to get something looking funny. Alright, that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me the questions in the comment, and I'll be happy to help you out.